So let me dispel some myths about being a foster parent. Hit them from the top. You're never too old. You don't have to be married. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to own your own home. We have some amazing foster parents who are empty nesters. They've raised their children to adulthood. We have some amazing foster parents who are single, have never been married, and they are incredible foster parents. And you, again, you don't have to be rich, but you do have to have a verifiable source of income. And families who rent, you don't have to own your own home. People talk themselves out of being a foster parent for all kinds of reasons, but don't let those be those things that stop you from taking the next step. For as long as I can remember, God has put being a foster parent on my heart. So the, the first memory I have is being 16 and you know, as women, a lot of times people ask you about like being a mom and like all that stuff. And I always wanted just to be a foster parent. It was something that I always just had a heartbeat for. And so at 16 years old, I decided that that was what I was gonna do. I, along the way of becoming licensed, I met my now husband. Well, I got licensed in January of 2018 and we got married in June of 2018. We have loved nine children in the last three and a half years, and we currently have placement of four boys, ages six, eight, 10, and 10. The process of becoming a foster parent can be really intrusive, okay? Like seriously, we're gonna get into your business, but we have to know who you are because you're gonna be caring for some of the most vulnerable children and we need to be sure that you're a safe place for them to be in. So criminal background checks, fingerprints, driver's records and clearances. We're going to evaluate your home to be sure that it is safe. Talk to your children. We're going to assess your marriage if you're married, your community. All of these things is a part of the process to ensure that you're a safe, capable, and loving family. The, the licensing process takes time and it takes a lot of thoughtfulness. It takes being willing. You know, a lot of times people will look at the process and say this is a lot of work. Um, doing your training hours is a lot, but when you can look at it through the eyes of your taking care of children who need someone with that intentionality and with that time, then it, it becomes really easy to do. It has been such a blessing to be licensed through Bethany Christian Services for a multitude of reasons. The support, just like emotional support that our caseworkers have been able to give us if I'm having a crisis moment with one of my children or I have questions about something, I can call and I know they're gonna be on the other end of the line. I know I can send a text message and I'm gonna get a response. Through the pandemic, I got involved in a virtual support group. I have grown my support network even more in meeting more foster parents who have gone through similar situations, who can offer advice or who can just be with me and validate the things that I'm going through. What does it take to be a foster parent? It takes a whole lot of love, a whole lot of patience, a whole lot of compassion, a willingness to make yourself second and make the children and their families primary in this work that you're doing. You clearly care about children. You clearly care about the families as well, or you wouldn't have inquired about being a foster parent in the first place. You know that children thrive in loving families. I'm a foster parent because I know that that's God's call of the church and call of his people to step up into the gap and be there for those children and those families. I'm a foster parent because I know there's a need. There's a crisis of not having enough foster parents to care for the number of children coming into the system. Love looks like being with your child, being with them wherever they're at. 
in those really hard times of their life, in their mad times, in their sad times, being there and not trying to fix them, but just be with them sometimes can be a really hard concept for parents in general or foster parents, but not trying to push them along past their feelings, but creating a space where you can sit with their feelings is really important in validating what they've gone through. Love looks a lot like teamwork. You have to remember that it's not you versus your child when difficult times come, but it's you and your child versus their trauma. And when you can have that teamwork perspective that changes your whole atmosphere of your home and the healing environment that you can create. It takes a village to raise a child. We believe that for the children that we give birth to, and it's, it's that much more prevalent as a foster parent. You need a community. You need to be able to have folks that are circling around you to provide that extra support to ensure that you're successful and your children are successful as well. So having respite providers, having daycare providers, having families willing to come in and provide a meal, you know, all of those ways that you can actually support another family, that is what you would need as a foster care family. I, w I wouldn't want potential foster parents not to think that it's overwhelming because loving kids from hard places is hard but it's nothing compared to the heart that they've been through. They're created by God, and somewhere along the way, things didn't go as planned for them. I strongly and personally believe that, like if you are a Christian, um, if you're part of God's church, then you have an obligation to step in in some shape, way, or form. When you're exhausted at the end of the day and there's a lot of co-regulation that needs to happen is a challenge. And so I think depending on the season you're in, the biggest challenge is, is different. And then I think the biggest reward is seeing growth in my kids. I've seen reunifications, which have also been some of my favorite things to be a part of as well, because I don't believe that God intended families to be broken. And when he can work a miracle and he can break chains and he can reunify families in a successful way, it's, it's a miracle and being able to witness that is special and it's a blessing. You know, it's said about foster care, it's the toughest job that you will ever love. And it's true. Being a foster parent isn't easy, but it's so rewarding. And again, so thankful that you took this opportunity to learn a little bit more. If you're ready to learn more about being a foster parent, please visit our website at bethany.org slash foster series, or continue watching this video series to learn more about being a great foster parent.